Hey, welcome back, my fellow humble investors. This is me, E.T., and remember, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who loves talking about great companies, and you guys know I love talking about humble. Now, today's video, yeah, we're going to take a look at price action for last week, but I have a question for you before we get to that, and that is, where do you see humble in three to five years? This question is for humble nation, potential humble investors, and also those traders and also the haters of humble. I'm just asking a question. I want you guys to be just 100% um, unbiased. Where do you think humble is going to be in three to five years? Some of you are going to feel that it's going to be a bust. Some of you feel that it's going to be a beast. Let's talk about that. All right. Where do you see humble three to five years? Bust. Well, some of you may feel that, hey, it may be a bust. Three to five years, some of you feel that humble could be bankrupt. Or it could still have a low stock price. Or it's a non-player in the fintech sector. Low revenue. Low revenue is going to mean lead to low stock price. And it's still within three to five years. Some people believe that it still be it's going to be in an OT. It's going to be an OTC company. All right. I get it. Everybody's welcome to their opinion. But also we have the other camp that believes that humble in three to five years will be a beast. That Brian Foote will be the pioneer in that sector, pretty much like Jeff Bezos was the pioneer of Amazon and online shopping, that Steve Jobs was the pioneer in the uh, smartphone sector. And then, you know, you're going to also take a look at Elon Musk in the EV sector. So the bottom line is, do you think that Brian Foote within the next three to five years will be a pioneer in the sector? Do you think that Humble will be the lead dog in the fintech sector? Or the blockchain sector. Three to five years as you think it's going to have uh, high revenue. <clears throat> if it's going to have high revenue, we already know it's going to have a much higher stock price. At that point, we're probably going to be within the areas of mid to large cap company. In that case, we should also be listed in the NASDAQ. And we should have institutional investors involved in Humble. So which camp are you in? Where do you see Humble within three to five years? If you believe that, hey, it may be a bust, fall up under any one of these categories here, then you're right. Maybe it is just a trade for you, or maybe you should just sell your, your shares and look somewhere else. But if you feel that, hey, you know, we could be the lead dog. We could see much higher uh, revenue, much higher stock price. And guess what? The current price that Humble is trading at, those are buying opportunities. Now it's time to stock up if you believe this. If you believe it's going to be a bust within the next three to five years, then I get it. Don't invest in Humble. Mike, my perspective, my expectations, my prediction, you already know. I think that Humble is going to be a beast. Everything that I'm seeing right now is through this whole accumulation phase. They're accumulating talent to work for them. They're accumulating customers. They're accumulating merchants. They're accumulating advisors. They're expanding their vertical products. We just added real estate. Who knows what else could be added to that? When it comes to blockchain technology, everything moving digital, the digital world, everything's gonna be there. You won't need a physical wallet. All you will need is a digital wallet and it will have everything to validate who you are, what you own, and what you have normally keep in your wallet, the products and services that you have. So 
I think that's the route that we're going. I think that Humble is definitely going to be there. I'm in the camp, and that's why I look at the current price as buying opportunities. I will continue to buy. Time will tell, but I think the probabilities are here. With all that being said, guys, let's take a look at the price action uh, from last week. Come on now. That's right. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons, followed by that notification button. That'll help out the channel. Thanks. Humble, beast or bust? What are your thoughts? You guys know my thoughts. I think we're going to be a beast. In about three to five years, I think we'll be a beast. Let's take a look at the price action and any news that happened last week. Really, last week, uh, nothing really happened in, in the way of news last week. This was a tweet that came out on the 9th of August, letting everyone know that uh, they've had some updates to the mobile app. Um, they improved the merchants onboarding. They fixed some bugs and some backend uh, developments, as well as what's coming up next is the wallet features for buy crypto earn interest and that was it so far as for last week i don't think we're going to get uh, much news until after the second quarter earnings are released uh, so we're pretty much in a quiet period let's take a look at the price action now humble closed on friday the 13th of august at 84 cents it opened up uh, opened up at 88 cents and as you can see from last week, overall, it was a down week. It was trending down for the week here uh, over the last uh, five trading days. Now on Friday, we noticed that the volume was 3.2 mil. The 10 day average is 3.9. So the volume was down. The actual uh, 10 day average volume has been going down. Remember that was high as, uh, 11 million at one time and for a while it was it was it was trending at about 9 million for a 10 day average and now we're down to 3.9 uh, so the volume is 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 uh, is trending down and I think as a result of the trending down in the volume not really a lot of price movement even though it's trending down within the last five days. I think that uh, we're in that consolidation phase and we're probably shaking out a lot of the traders as we can see from the next chart. And this chart here shows the short volume ratio. You're looking at on Friday the 13th, um, only 30% or 31% rounded up. 31% of the volume was from shorters. All right, so that's a great sign. I mean, we're still above that 20%. However, we are definitely trending down there. So I have a strange feeling that uh, um, we're in that consolidation phase. We're shaking out a lot of the, the shorters. Uh, they're going to have to come in and buy back their positions in, in, in order to close out. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see much in the way of a uh, downward trend. I think the next support is going to probably be around 76 cents. Uh, hopefully we won't we will not hit that next week and humble is still what number four when it comes to one of the 50 most searched stocks within the last 72 hours this is my current position as you can see from last week i i, I added well over a thousand shares of humble on the 10th 265 the 11th uh, bought twice on the 11th and each day, each time, 250 on the 12th, 250, 13th, 250. My grand total is 9,050 shares. You know, my goal is that uh, is for 10,000 shares. Once I hit 10,000 shares, I'm going to sit tight for a while and see what happens with them in price and earnings. And I'll determine whether or not I'm going to set a new goal above that 10,000 shares. All right. With this, as uh, as I've been adding shares, my call spaces has been reduced. I'm down to a uh, call spaces of a dollar fifty nine cents a share. And uh, as you can see here, the overall return on uh, uh, on investment when it comes to humble, I'm down forty seven percent. This 
uh, section over here to the right is my position in Forwardly. Uh, have over 10,000 shares. I'm not adding any, any more there. That there is just pretty much put into a, a coffee can just waiting for uh, things in the price to improve. Now, let's take a quick look at my ETX, my Humble Financial ETX. You remember, I'm in Block 3, Block 5. And uh, the overall crypto market definitely turned around. It's been turning around within the last two weeks. And as you can see, in Block 3, uh, my cost basis was 331.59. Current value is 307.09. I am down 7%. Block five, I'm actually <laughs> almost 2% ahead. So showing a 2% uh, uh, profit there. Uh, my cost basis was 662.88. Current value is 673.86. And that's all because the overall crypto market is definitely on an up, uptrend right now. And that, that's always a good thing. I was showing my week by week, but you know, my experiment is over with. I'm going to continue to, to hang on to block three and block five until I um, show enough profit to take care of my fees in my initial investment. And after that, I am looking at possibly move to one of the active products on the ETX, uh, uh, on, finan uh, on Humble's ETX financials. So this here, I changed thing, uh, things up here on this chart. This here is a a month by month chart, and the current month that we're in, I'm going to have it as current. And as you can see here, I'm down one percent. Total value of that initial thousand dollar investment is nine hundred ninety four dollars and forty five cents. Just look at this V shape recovery there. Overall, down one percent in my humble finance ETX block three and block five. I honestly believe that uh, by the end of this coming week, I should show a profit if uh, the crypto market continues on with that upward trend. In addition to that, I'm almost close to my goal of uh, uh, 10,000 shares of Humble. I might have that this week. If not this week, I'll definitely have it by the end of August. And as you we can see, there is really no news last week. I think we're in that quiet period and we probably will see uh, something happened so far as in the way of additional news once the second quarter financials are released and I can't wait to take a look at that and see exactly how we're doing so far as generating revenues in the various categories so we'll take a look and see how this week shakes out and with that guys I will see you next Sunday if not sooner take care bye bye